And welcome back. It's 41 past. We're checking out more history in the Copper Country this morning. The Upper Peninsula Firefighters Memorial Museum in Calumet features exhibits related to a century of firefighting history. Angela Combe is there this morning and joins us with more. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Vicki. You know, last Friday I was across the street here at the uh, theater here, and now we're going to go to another part of Calumet history. It's uh, the Copper Country Firefighters History Museum that's also here on 6th Street in Calumet. And, you know, this building started as a fire station back in 1900 when Calumet was a, it was a big mining town, and it was a fire station here until the 50s. And then in the 90s, it became this museum. So we're going to be heading inside. They have all kinds of firefighting artifacts from, from uh, the fire stations up here and some trucks that were used by the mining companies and, uh, and the cities and communities around here. And, you know, one of these trucks is actually going to be used in a parade tomorrow. Uh, early this week, Sarah Blakely was uh, giving us the details on the heritage celebrations that's happening here all week in Calumet. And they have a big parade and celebration tomorrow. Uh, the parade goes down 5th Street at 11 a.m. You'll see one of the trucks uh, in the parade tomorrow morning. So that'll be pretty cool to check out. Now, this museum is open through the summer. Uh, they're open uh, mid-June through Labor Day and 1 to 4.30 on Mondays through Saturdays, and admission $2 for adults, $5 for the whole family, so a very reasonable price to come and check out a big piece of history and a lot of interesting stuff uh, that you, you usually wouldn't get to see. So we're going to be coming back here uh, later on throughout the morning. We've got Paul Bracco. He is a 45-year veteran of firefighting, and he's the president of the museum. He'll be joining us this morning to tell us more about what's inside. But for now, we'll head back to the studio live in Calumet. Andrew Lacombe. TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. It sounds like it's going to be a great time in Cali. Welcome back, everyone. The Keweenaw National Historical Park was established to preserve and interpret the story of the region's copper mining industry. One of the historical sites, the Copper Country Firefighters Historical Museum in Calumet. We're getting a look around the museum with Andrew Lacombe this morning, joining us with more. Andrew? Good morning again, Vicki. I am standing on a 1919 fire truck. It was actually the first tr fire truck in the village of Calumet. And the first thing I noticed about this truck is, uh, well, there's a windshield, luckily, but there's no cover on top or on the side. So could you imagine responding to a fire in the winter? The, the, also, I noticed the steering wheel here is on the other side, not what we're used to seeing. But, uh, you know, this firefighting museum has been here since the 90s, and uh, it's, a, it's a very cool place. I, I'm really enjoying looking around this morning. It's open every summer, and I'm joined now this morning by Paul Bracco, the president of the museum board. And Paul, just tell me about the actual space that the museum's in. It used to be a fire hall, right? It was a fire hall, and uh, it was set up to, uh, back at the time when they had the horses. And the back of the building here is where the horses were kept, and the harnesses were hung above. The horses came forward, and they dropped the harnesses on them. Wow. And so then, uh, around 1919, the village started, got this truck, right? Yeah, they started going into the newer equipment. Okay, so this was, was obviously was new at the time. Just tell me, uh, obviously it was an, an automobile. Just tell me uh, what, what the, the guys must have liked at the time about it. Well, I'm sure they enjoyed it because they didn't have to pull them because <laughs> we, we got some in the back here that are actually pulled by hand uh, beside the horse ones. But this one and the one from the mining company came here together on the same boxcar in the same year. So, you know, they, they don't carry water because at that time they just pumped from hydrants. Okay. They didn't have water tanks on these trucks. Now, this one actually still runs, and, and, and so there's a couple other here, yeah, including this one. Yeah, they, all except one run. Okay. But and now this one will be in, in the parade tomorrow that's happening. Tomorrow. This one will be in the parade tomorrow, yes. And tell me, about, tell me a little bit about this one. It's a little bit newer, right? It's a 1930. Okay. And you can see how it, it's a bigger unit than a 1919. And the thing about these trucks is they have a dual ignition. If one side didn't work, they just slapped it to the other. So you always had, the engine would start because you had a dual ignition in them. Oh, very interesting. So now uh, the museum has been here since the 90s, and it's, it's run by, you get a lot of donations, and people pay admission when they come down here. That's what keeps it going. Yeah, so uh, people can come down and check out the museum. Uh, Mondays through Saturdays, open 1 to 4.30, and uh, you'll hopefully see a lot of people coming down here tomorrow when the yeah, heritage, heritage celebration. Yes, with the heritage, heritage days, yes. Okay. Now, uh, just tell me about what else is here besides these trucks downstairs. Well, upstairs we have all the smaller stuff, nozzles. Uh, breathing apparatus, uh, uh, you know, all the uh, fire extinguishers, 
all the smaller stuff is upstairs. Okay, so now people can uh, can come and check this out throughout the summer. You're open until Labor Day. Now, Paul, just tell me about about your your history. Why why are you interested in 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 this museum? Well, I've been a fireman a long time and want to see it get going. Yeah, well, this is a very cool place, and I'm glad it's still around. Now, one thing you you show me that I thought was pretty cool was uh, this siren over here, and you said a lot of the kids that come in here like to uh, to to uh, ring this. So this is a crank. This is the old siren from the truck, and, you know, I'm, I'm still a kid, so I'm just going to crank this. And that's going to keep going and be kind of loud, uh, but... So pretty cool. A lot of a lot of uh, uh, this is how it used it to be done. Get a big kick out of it, yeah. yeah. I can see why. Well, Paul, thanks for being here. We're gonna head back upstairs uh, in the next half hour, but we'll go back to the studio for now. Live in Calumet, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. Thanks, Andrew. I need one of those sirens. Welcome back, everyone. We're checking out more history in the Copper Country this morning. The Copper Country Firefighters Memorial Museum in Calumet features exhibits related to a century of firefighting history. TV6's Andrew Lacombe is there this morning and joins us now with more. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, I'm upstairs now at the Firefighting Museum. And, you know, this is part of the QAnon National Historic Park. A lot of history in the Copper Country uh, dating back over a century, like you said. And, and what we're standing in right now actually was a, was a fire hall back uh, during Calumet's big days back in the early 1900s. And Paul Bracco is the president of the museum board here. And, Paul, just tell me about where we're standing right now. Okay, this is more or less like the recreation area, the bunk room where they slept. Because at that time they had a full-time fire department. The kitchen area was behind us over here, but, you know, living quarters, and behind you is the office, chief's office. Okay, so a nice big space for all the firefighters to, to kind of relax yeah, here? Yeah, correct. Okay, now, right now, as the museum that opened back in 1991, now it's filled with all kinds of artifacts from firefighting history across the UP. Tell me about what's up here. Well, you see there's a lot of pictures, the, the breathing apparatus, nozzles, Fire, old fire extinguishers, all the smaller stuff is kept up here. Now, something that I've enjoyed looking around at this morning are those newspaper clippings from a lot of uh, big uh, fires that happened up here, so it's yeah, pretty cool. That's true, yeah. We'll try to keep up with some of the older stuff because that's what people are looking for. Now, there's also uh, pamphlets from all the UP uh, firefighting tournaments that these happen are, every year. These are the booklets from the tournaments, yes. Okay. We even we found a picture of Steve Asplund. It was really small, but that was pretty cool to find. Now, tell me about about the museum in general. You're open every summer. You're open this summer until Labor Day? That's correct. Okay. From June until Labor Day. Now, people can come here Mondays through Saturdays, uh, 1 to 4.30 p.m., and, and why should they come check this out? Well, there's a lot of history here, for one thing, and if you, you know, to show you what the fire departments had, I mean, you look at the modern equipment today and what these guys work with, it's this stuff. You can see the difference. Now, if you, if you weren't with us earlier this morning, uh, we were downstairs, right, checking out those, those fire trucks that, well, some of those hand pumpers date back to the 1850s, right? Right, they're correct. Okay, so a lot to a lot to check out here, and, and you're open one, again, 1 to 4.30, uh, Monday through Saturdays. Admission is pretty reasonable. $2 or $5 for family. Yeah, so that's a good deal to come down and check out and a lot of history up here in the Copper Country to see. So, Paul, thanks so much for uh, for being here with us nice and early this morning and, and a, a great place. You've been the president now of, of the board for a while? Yes, I have. Okay, well, and after a long firefighting career, right? Yes. Okay, how many years? 45. Awesome. All right, Paul, thanks so much for being here this morning. And, and you know, you got to come check this out. When we were downstairs earlier, I was uh, playing with that hand crank siren that was a lot of fun. So just come come up here to Calumet and check out the firefighting history. For now, we'll head back to the studio live in Calumet, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right, just don't ride around the streets of Calumet with that siren going. Thanks, Andrew. We'll be right back with your TV6 morning show.